Hello, this is Hildron from the Computer Clan, and I'm going to continue my motion tutorials by popular request, and the last ones seem to have been doing, well, the last one, I should say, has seemed to do pretty well, so I will now continue with them. Today, I'm going to be showing you lights and cameras, basically working in a 3D environment with those two things. So, if you haven't seen the first tutorial, I recommend that you do that to get the basics under your belt. So we will now proceed with this one. We'll set it back to 30 frames. We will make it 90 frames long for 3 seconds and 720p, and we'll open that up. All right, so to start with, we are going to add some text just as our focus to work on. All right, hello world, and we will use the HUD. If that's not open, you just press the HUD button. And you can also use the inspector, but uh, the, I like the HUD because it puts the most important settings into one easy place. And we'll select the arrow tool again once we changed our parameters, and we will center this in the middle. There we go. Okay, so now we got the text. Now we're going to work with the lights. The easiest way to do that is click the Create Light button in the toolbar here. So we are going to press that, and I'm going to do Switch to 3D, because working in a 3D environment with lights is a lot easier. And since I am doing a screen recording and I'm doing something pretty graphically intensive, I'm going to save this file just in case something happens. So I'm going to call this Light Test. Okay, so now we have this light here, and we can move it around, and as you can see, it will affect the text there. And if we bring the HUD back up once again, you can change the intensity, fall off, and a lot of other settings. Changing the fall off will basically adjust how much blackness there is, and it will uh, show you how far the light can travel before it gets dark. So if there's no fall off, it'll basically go all the way there, and if there's more of it, it will get dark pretty fast. So we're going to stick with that, and we're going to move it over to the side here. Okay. So we are going to go to the light object, and we are going to duplicate this. And we will move it over to the other side of the canvas here. And we are, what we are going to do is select that light, go to the color swatch in the HUD, and change that to green, because we're going to do some more fancy effects here than just normal lights. And we'll change the other one to blue. So you just click them in the timeline and change it from your HUD here. Excellent. So now we've got those two set. Now we can do some animation with them. Of course, you can use them as static lights, but it's cooler to actually do some effects and animation with them. So we'll select this light, press the record button right here, which will add a keyframe, set the playhead to the end, and then move the light object to the end of the canvas, and you'll see it will leave a red trail showing you where it goes. So that one's done. Now I'll apply this in the opposite direction for the other light. Select, record, move your playhead, Move the light object all the way to the other side. And press the record button again to complete the keyframe. So now basically when we play this back, we have the lights intercept, and we have them switch onto other sides, and it changes the effect of the text right there. That is pretty neat. And of course, the lights blend together, green and blue, and they make like a turquoise. That is really neat. Now another cool thing about lights is, of course, they help with reflections. And reflections are a key thing in light. So we're going to go to the library, we are going to go down to shapes, and we are going to go to a rounded rectangle, which I believe is right here, and we will apply this and put that into the timeline there, and we will move this to the, actually I'm going to move this to the bottom here, so I'm going to close this text group, and take the rounded rectangle here and apply this into the timeline. And I'm going to move this onto the bottom if I can do that. Yes. Okay, so we have the rounded rectangle object on the bottom here. And as you can see, when the lights go by it, you can see that um, they actually affect the rectangle as well. So what we'll do is, we'll go to a point where we can see it. Select it in the timeline. And in the inspector, we are going to adjust the properties. And by the rotation item, we're going to expand this down and rotate the x-axis I believe to 90 degrees that will help and now it's nice and flat and we can move this down and as you can see we get kinda of like a plane and uh, we can use these things on the edge here to change the shape so if we hold down shift we can do this proportionally and if we hold down alt shift we can do it from the center so the more we drag the more proportionally it will change so as you can see we made a big plane and we can also move this up a little bit right about there 
So as you can see, the light now casts its effect on the shape below it. We're going to save those changes, Command-S. Okay, so now with reflections, it's pretty simple. All we do here is select the object we want to make the reflection, and in the Properties Inspector, go to the Reflections parameters, and simply turn on Reflection. And you can, adju you can adjust the, the amount of the reflection, the falloff, and one of my favorite things, the blur amount. And this is all done in real time. So as you can see, we now have this really nice reflection with a nice blurry cast of a reflection here. And we have these animated lights that cross over on the text. And it makes a pretty cool looking effect. Now we are going to add one last thing, which is what I was talking about earlier, the camera. So the quick way to do that is select the Add Camera item in the toolbar. And we have this view of the canvas right now. And we are going to do a zoom in. So what we're going to do is press the record button, go to the end of the timeline here with the playhead, and then by using these tools up here we can position the camera, so I'm going to zoom into the text like this, and then press the record button again. So now in addition to our lights and reflections, we also have the camera zooming in for this really awesome looking effect. So that, that's basically it. That, those are the basics to using 3D objects such as cameras and lights. And you can actually end up making quite a neat effect. That looks pretty cool. All right. If you want to make some fine tuning adjustments to your animations, you can open up the animation timeline down here. We could probably hide the video timeline for now. And as you can see, you will get a visual representation of your keyframes, which this is a little bit more of an advanced thing, and I'm not going to get too far into this for this tutorial. But you can obviously use this to tweak your keyframes if you ever need to in the future, depending on if you want to add maybe a, an ease in and ease out effect, make it more quadratic. And that's a little more of an advanced thing, but just to let you know, if you want to make those changes, this is the timeline you use. And this video timeline is just what shows your normal uh, items down here, so you can retime them and organize them. So that is how you do an effect such as this with lights, camera movement, reflections, and hopefully you can just go from this and experiment with the many, many, many other capabilities of motion and go create something amazing. Alright, so thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something, and I will see you in the next one.